Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Culture Pop. I'm Kelly Steer. I'm Delaney Lawrence. I'm Tom Vasquez. I'm Andrea Matthew. All right, so lots of big stuff still happening with Miley. Um, <laughs> girl has gotten broken up with, or it says that Miley broke up with Liam because he's been linked to January Jones and some Mexican singer or something, and he was photographed okay. kissing. <laughs> A Mexican singer mm -hmm. uh, a day after they broke off their engagement. Female or male? Because that just sounds kind of. Fe like... Female. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm about to... oh, wouldn't that be heartbreaking if Liam were gay? That would. It would explain my life. Kill my dreams. Yeah. Wouldn't Haircut. do much for me. <laughs> no, I think it would do more. For I don't you, know. I mean, it would do much more for you. It depends. It all depends. I mean, let's Knock just think. The competition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether or not. Liam or Miley did this because of the Wrecking Ball or the VMAs. He's I mean, probably afraid he's going to get a disease from that Wrecking Ball. I, it just it seems like it happened so quickly right after, after everything you know, kind you of know. went off. So I don't know. Well, she unfollowed him on Twitter, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that's all official. <laughs> that's that's it. That's official. You're done. Now, I mean, nowadays, that's like just completely. And she tweeted it was like a picture of a guy, a bomb, and then the heart. And everyone's trying to read into it. Mm. Is Twitter oh like the goodness. thing now to like break up? I thought Facebook. You you break I up with your significant just, other yeah. on Facebook probably. Everybody this sees is our it. Generation. Everybody sees it. You block them. You no, know, everybody likes it. Everybody, everybody likes, likes it. it. All, the, oh all the guys who've been <laughs> yeah. after you yeah. like it. Yeah. All all the the in Liam's case, guys. it would be every girl in the world. You right. know, and he has some guys. Four billion likes on his Facebook status that he's now single. Yes. Not and he gets one Mexican singer. What a lucky gal. Like we're kind of jealous. It just sounds mad random. It sounds like a bad vacation. Like they yeah. went somewhere, he got drunk, and was just like. I mean, if you broke up with I Miley, you, it can't Maria. be that bad of a mm -hmm. vacation. I agree. I mean, that was headed down south, anyways. And she's still like, and they probably did it like now that they're on top of their like publicity gain or whatever. Like, no publicity is like bad publicity. So, good for them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't mind them if they went under for a little while. Down under. Like Miley. <laughs> to Australia. Yeah, just gone get for it? a couple hours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A couple years. I'd enjoy it. it Pop up with long hair. <laughs> That'd be good. She can be the next Lindsay Lohan. Please don't. Or Britney Spears. Mm. Britney, er, Britney is on the right track. Br yeah, no, now. I don't know. Britney defended Miley, and now oh, Britney wow. is helping Miley with her album. And she to says that everything that Miley did was completely okay, and she's just defining herself and becoming a woman. Mm -hmm. She only says when that I because she was bald and cracking a car with an umbrella. That's why she says that. Yes. She's like, I've been there. Been there, done that, grew my hair back out, and now I'm helping <laughs> you with the record. There you go. <laughs> that's all you have to do. You have to grow your hair out. That's, that's, Random thing that's how you get through a crisis. Do you notice how her voice still sounds like she's like 18 years old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of creepy. She is 18, out. right? She never ages. She never ages. She's always got her. <laughs> that's under the top of the record. Just Hit me baby one more time record. outfit on forever. <laughs> well, speaking of baby faces, uh -huh. um, Zac Efron. Just got out of rehab for cocaine mm. use, um, or as Delaney calls it, what do you call it, Delaney? I actually don't remember. She calls it a coke ward. Coke she ward. goes, Zach Efron just got out of the coke ward, which I actually kind of like, and I think it's going to be a catchy phrase. <laughs> a a ward, ward, ward of coke. Could it go? Could it trend on Twitter? Is, is you the coke ward. You should try it. Tweet. All of our viewers, please tweet coke ward. <laughs> <laughs> you should tweet at Zac Efron since. I don't know if people know this about Delaney, but celebrities tweet her back all the time. Like, she's gotten yeah. two celebrities that tweeted <laughs> back at her. All the time. Out of the three, out of the out of the three celebrities I've tweeted at, two of them have tweeted me back. So you're two-thirds of the way. Yeah. I mean, I got to be honest. I'm pretty sad that, he did, that he's yeah. going through this cocaine thing. Oh, no. Not, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's went through, I'm a guy, and that high school musical thing was never my thing, and <laughs> he's in those movies like... Um, hey, Coke Ward musical. Yeah. Got it. Um, That's probably why he's always so peppy. Right, and I don't... It's just, it's shocking to me. I don't know. It is, because he just seemed like the one on the right track, at least, like, breaking away from yeah. the high school musical and bowl cuts. And Miley seemed like she was right on the right track when she got those braces <laughs> off, and then when she got those braces off, she's like, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> she got those braces off. I'm gonna go crazy, and now Zac Efron's gonna go crazy. Maybe it'll date. <laughs> that, that's a quote from Miley Cyrus. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> My braces are off. Time for me to go crazy. <laughs> Just being Miley. Billy Stray Virus. I'm up on the. I'm gonna go up there. What? Who was that? Billy Stray Virus. Oh. Her father. Thought we Billy just Stray Virus. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's, it was good. That's clever. Yep. Thank but you. I mean, I think as far as Zac, like, I don't understand why all these celebrities. It started with. Um, I mean, obviously, every celebrity is always addicted to stuff. But um, 
What's his? Corey Monteith, who is actually very oh. sad because he's very, he was so talented, oh. beautiful on top of it. Like, and I just hope that Zac Efron isn't going to go down yeah. that same path. So it's a good thing he checked himself in now mm -hmm. and he'll get out and he doesn't, hopefully he doesn't get out and start dating crazies because that's what <laughs> drags them down. Yeah, yeah. Miley Cyrus and Zac Efron. Yeah, somebody was saying, I was watching E! News today, and they're like, well, maybe Miley and Justin will get together. I'm like, ew! ew. Match up to watch. Oh, maybe God. Taylor Swift will join it, and they can write a song about it. <laughs> It'll be fantastic. <laughs> uh, but um, getting off of celebrity news, um, I found this interesting little countdown on BuzzFeed, and I thought it kind of applied to our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 15 things college never really teaches you about life, so I just wanted to talk about a couple of them and see what you guys thought. Um, the first one was how to pay taxes, mm -hmm. which yeah, I have no clue. Do you know how to pay taxes? I don't know. I know it includes math. Oh I no, I haven't taken a math. I mean, I I've, here. I have like not only will I end up in my future paying someone to do my taxes, yeah. I will. <laughs> I'm not even sure that I. It's sad, but it's. I don't true. even know who to ask to pay my taxes. Do you? Mm -hmm. Get out. My dad taught me. Wow. Well, I'm glad. Well, college did well, not teach you then. Your dad taught you. Right, parents taught you. Yeah. You've got to, you have to make the incentive. I mean, that's probably going to be wrong. I'm probably going to be like stealing money. <laughs> From the government, the IRS is after you. Yeah. Well, actually, the first time that I did my taxes, I got a letter saying that you're an illegal immigrant and you need to leave okay. oh. because my social security number was off by one, by one, mm. by one number. <laughs> oh. So I, that was not good. Oh, my God. Those letters are not nice. Yeah. I, just, I just feel like I... It happens, and I go. So what happened? He's like, Yeah, I just did the taxes. I was like, I feel like it's. it's it looks so much easier than it really is. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's why you pay accountants. Right. And stuff. I don't yeah. want to ever do that. Um, another thing is, um, what to say when someone asks you in a job interview? Tell me about yourself. I hate that question. You I hate certainly it so much. Tell me about yourself. Hmm? You certainly don't no, go. Like, I don't blank. What am I supposed to tell you? Like I don't. I'm know. a blank slate. Tell you me about resume? myself. And on top of that, if I tell you about myself, right, what does this have to do with the job? Nothing. Nothing. I think they, they want to see, like, if you can give them an answer that's not your generic, well, you know, I'm a student and... <laughs> so I what if you're being really honest and you're like, I kill cats in my spare time and I'm a double <laughs> worshipper? I think that's why they Tell make, me about yourself. I think that's frowned upon in any situation. <laughs> any, that's like why they make the books that say things not to say at things job not interviews. To say. Things not yeah, to say. But then you end up saying the generic I think that's, things. You, you really can't, you can't say that anywhere. Like, <laughs> oh, I just said it just now. I'd go generic over killing cats any over day. Over killing cats and devil worshiping. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what if you said, like, I don't kill cats and I'm not a devil <laughs> worshiper? They'd probably just look at you like, <laughs> okay. If you saw our talk show, you'd understand why. You <laughs> would get it. Which, by the way, if you want to know something about me, watch my talk show. Yeah, well. Then you can plug yourself. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> um, here's another one. How to go to work every single day at the same time and never be late. That would be struggle. That actually, yeah. my brother has to take a train to get to work. And it's a real struggle. Like, he's yeah. like, yeah, I'll hear the train coming and I have to run out of my house. Mm -hmm. And it's like, because if you miss it, that's, that's it. another hour. Yeah. You're waiting. You know, I don't know what it is. I feel like every day that you get somewhere a little early, you tell yourself, I can leave a little later. And then yeah. that just becomes you leaving later and later and later. And then eventually, it's you're done. You're late. You're late. Fired. And then you got to, <laughs> it's a vicious here. cycle because it just keeps going back and forth. And you can't like roll in, like, you know, you roll in 10 minutes late to class. You're like, oh, you're like out of breath from walking right. up those terrible right. stairs. Right. back. You have like coffee stains all down your shirt. And everyone it's clear knows. you just rolled out of bed. Like, everyone knows. You show up to work like that, they're like, wow. You're all <laughs> yeah, you over. You, what have to you, dress, you have to dress. Like, for here, you uh, can set the alarm and you're like five minutes. And then when it gets to class, you're like, all right, well, like, I didn't really change and I haven't showered in yeah. three days. But that's right. okay. Right. But at a job, three you have days, to like. I don't know. They <laughs> saw you yesterday. They know exactly what you wore. You can't yeah, wear the you same Yeah, you can't wear thing. the same thing every day. Yeah. And you can only wear jeans on Fridays. Gosh, Most places. Yeah. I don't know. Most places. Yeah. Um, okay, last one I kind of wanted to talk about is um, what to respond to when people say, what do you do for a living? Mm. That's a tough question, especially being communications. <laughs> it's, I like, it's like when you're just like, what's your major? Communications. Oh, people look that? at their feet. Like, or like, oh. Right, I Why get that a lot. Why you go into bio or, exactly. or nursing exactly. or something like but that? But if you think about it, if you have a degree in biology, like you can go pre-med, but like, are you going to be a biologist? Mm. 
That's, that, no. that's the thing with Lemoyne, though, is when people ask you, like, oh, where, where do you go? And you're like, Lemoyne. And you're like, oh, teaching, nursing? Like, what are you doing? You're yeah. Like, oh. The in between. They're like, oh, things. I'm sorry. They're like, oh. No, but one time, this is going to make us all feel better about ourselves. I was at Wegmans, <laughs> and the cashier, she was talking to me. She was like, oh, you go to Lemoyne? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I just graduated from there. And I was like, oh, what was your major? She said something like micro, but it was just very <laughs> complicated science stuff. And I was like, oh, well, what do you do now? But then I realized that she's handing me my change. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> and, and it's sad too, because I did, I was, there was other things online where they say like the, the top, like lowest paid jobs with mm -hmm. degrees. Communications basically falls under the top five. But communications is on every list. It's It'll be like top list. five jobs, communications. And they'll be like top five jobs not to get communications. <laughs> like, but the thing is, it's such it's fun work. If you enjoy it, do it. Mm -hmm. um, don't make any money. It's fine. Whatever. That's great. You have a side job. But enjoy it. But that's the important. But thing. you're enjoying yourself. You're poor. You're eating ramen noodles, but you love your job. You're right. And, and you're homeless. You know, and job, communications you and bartending goes side to side. Right. Oh yeah. Is that on yeah. there? How to cook? Because I'm pretty how sure. How to cook? Um, no, <laughs> but um, one. Okay, I lied. I want to talk about one more. Um, <laughs> How to act normal at work after a long night of drinking. <laughs> 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 Which I find to be kind of funny because like you can go to class um, slightly hungover and be like, yeah, I can I can really get through this today. I'm gonna Still be a fine. little drunk. Still a little <laughs> drunk, I'm fine. I get, like the day, like for example, the day after Dolphy Day. Oh. Which is not a school sanctioned drinking event per se. <laughs> but Per se is in keyword there. <laughs> keyword. But, um, I question this because like, how I mean, many adults drink the night before? Do a lot of adults do this? Is this I think a thing? so. They'd be like, oh, well, Bef today was a hard day. Let's before go work? to the bar. No, not, not like right before. Not like putting Baileys in your coffee. Oh. Like, <laughs> no, like I've the, the I know, night I know before people, you though. go out or like with dinner, you start with one glass of wine and then it turns into seven. You'd be surprised. <laughs> is, yes, it is a normal occurrence. It like is. People will simply say hard day. Beer, hard yeah. day wine, and then it's only hard supposed day to vodka? hard day vodka, <laughs> anything, That's and then it, it goes from one to two. I'm good, and then it's <laughs> you're done. I'm just really interested to see what my postgraduate's life will be like if this this is like. And then the last thing on the list says, "I wish somebody had told me that I'd be using Excel for the rest of my life." <laughs> if I get a four-year degree from a private university and I am just using Excel for the rest of my life. I don't even know how to use Excel. <laughs> it's on my resume. It's on my resume that I know yeah. how to use it. But it's like one of those things where uh, you're like, I can Google it. You shouldn't admit that. <laughs> <laughs> I used it one time, so I can. I know how to use it. Now you know. It's just a graph. Yeah, it's a. That's, see, that's the common misconception. It's, it's just it's a graph. I no, took a whole class on Excel. I know it's what it math. is. That's it's math. It's definitely not just. How many things can you do on that website? You can do formula. It's a whole bunch Thank of you. fun. Thank you. So it's it's fun. It's see that's yeah. subjective. I would not say. You fun. shouldn't be a communications major. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to communicate, you need to know how to use Excel. Okay. Well. If you want to do anything in life, you need to know how to use Excel. Go to work, not looking hungover, and follow your pop culture. Yes. But um, culture pop. Uh, culture pop, <laughs> the best show of all time. Um, but that's, I think, all we have for today on this episode of Culture Pop. I'm Kelly Steer. I'm Delaney Lawrence. I'm Tom Vasquez. I'm Andrea Matthew. 